Today I'm going to talk about an example of where medicinal plants can be um, extracted and used sustainably um, and this is in collaboration with big pharmaceutical companies and organisations and indigenous people. Um, so we're going to look at the example of Samoa which is a Polynesian island that is off of the northeast of Australia and the South Pacific. Um, it's a small island nation um, that's relatively poor um, but it was on this island that some uh, Western uh, researchers found out that there was a, a drug that the locals had been using as part of a tea. They were getting part of a bark of the mamala tree um, and putting it into a tea and this is actually curing some pretty significant diseases. Um, they found out that the um, chemical inside the mamala tree bark was called prostratin and uh, Western researchers found out that this was something that could be used to treat HIV and AIDS. This obviously uh, became something that would be very um, lucrative for um, people looking to treat HIV. And so um, this is where the kind of collaboration between the Samoan government researchers from the West comes in. Um, there's an area where the mamala tree grows called um, Faliapu, which is on the coast. And um, this is an area where there is poverty and they are very much kind of pressures of could they use the forest to cut down trees and sell it for timber. But there are also is these mamala trees here, which would be useful for um, selling um, to be used for prostatin. So an agreement was made between the AIDS Research Alliance, which is an American organisation, and the Samoan government, that these trees would be protected and that prostratin would be able to be extracted from these trees and used for research to be made into commercial drugs by the AIDS Research Alliance in the US. Um, and that would only be done if the Samoan government and the local community would be given 20% of any profits that were made by the AIDS Research Alliance through their research. So this is the opposite of biopiracy. This is the where governments and organisations are working together to sustainably make sure that there are enough medicinal plants. More importantly, that indigenous communities who found it and have been using it for many, many years can actually benefit off of that kind of expertise. One way that they've also helped achieve this is not only is some of the profits going there, but NGOs, and an NGO specifically called Seacology, is um, having investment into this um, local community where they um, don't have a significant amount of certain key resources. So they are supplying medical clinics and water supplies, but they've also helped fund an aerial rainforest canopy, which has been used for tourism. So therefore, rather than cutting down the rainforest, um, this community is preserving this drug, which is going to be used to make into HIV drugs. They'll get profits from that, but they will also get money to protect the rainforest to make sure that that mamala tree doesn't disappear. So here we see two communities working together to sustain resources so that medicinal plants can be used in a sustainable way in the future.